considered it um, appropriate to use our own instruments. We always have our own string instruments, as in um, some of them are original, like this one, Del Gesù from 1743, but it's in a modern setup. Um, to, for the string players to use their own instruments, but gut it up, so to speak, with um, stringed with gut and tuned down to A equals 430, and for the wind players to use replicas, or in some case, um, in cases, original instruments from the time of Mozart. Um, and we think that this hybrid um, situation works best. I play all the time on gut A string and covered gut, raw gut A and covered gut D and G, and as much as I can on gut E, depending on the um, circumstances with the weather, especially a change from humidity to dry or the other way around is worse. Um, and the reason for this is because I find it a more textured sound and some say it's a bit softer but I find that it's got more character in the sound. It's a personal issue. Um, a lot of people like to make you know a bold steely sound and I'd rather find the intimacy and warmth that is afforded with gut strings and when you have a whole orchestra playing on gut yeah the sound is is it's definitely worth the effort This instrument is made by Guaneri, um, Joseph Guaneri, in 1743. His nickname, um, which he gave himself, was uh, Del Gesù, and I'm incredibly honoured and privileged to be able to have access to it. Um, it's called, known as the Caritas um, violin and I've been playing on it for a couple of years now and well just look at it it's beautiful 
the reason I love this instrument is because of the richness and it sounds how it looks and it's another interesting thing about violins is that it's very rare to find a violin that's rich and red and warm in appearance and sounds bright and yellow um, in the sound. Now isn't that strange? And uh, the varnish on this, as you can see, for, for um, an old violin is, um, is very rich and vibrant red and the sound is such. And also, interestingly, you never find a great sounding violin with an ugly scroll. The, s the scroll is its soul and figurehead and it proudly sits there um, visually, visually um, mirroring the sound, silently sitting there. Thank you. 